But he that sent me to baptize told me, Upon whom you will see the Spirit descend and remain, he is the one that baptizes with the Holy Ghost. He said, And I saw and I bore record. And he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove. And what? Lighten where? Now take note of that word upon. Because these are issues or things you need to know about the Holy Spirit that are very principal if you are to enjoy the Holy Spirit and see his glory and power. When the Holy Ghost came, he came where? He lighted where? Under him. Now that word upon is a governmental word. The government shall be under his shoulder, upon. No government is under anybody. Normally government is upon people. <laughs> the Holy Spirit is the spirit of the kingdom, is the spirit of the government of the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. Everything about the kingdom is in the Holy Ghost. Outside the Holy Ghost, there's no kingdom. Outside the Holy Ghost, there's no righteousness. He's the power of righteousness. He's the power of joy, the power of peace. Because the things that don't allow you to have peace have power. And it takes something more powerful to dethrone them to give you peace. Mm. Today, may the spirit of the kingdom that comes with the righteousness of God, the peace of God, the joy of God, come powerfully into your life and overthrow unrighteousness, overthrow everything that is negative to peace, everything that is the opposite of peace, everything that is the opposite of joy, may it be overthrown by the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. So, the first place the Holy Spirit seeks to come to is where? Upon. Hear me. And you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come under you. Huh? Upon. This upon, please don't play with it. I've never seen anybody that carries Holy Ghost power who was on top of the Holy Ghost. Even Jesus, the Spirit came where? Upon him. So you are going to bring your life under the Holy Ghost. Say, Holy Ghost, I come under you. Come upon. That is the first place he comes to in a person's life. He doesn't negotiate that upon. Verse 1 of chapter 4. Look, look for verse 1. And Jesus, what next? Being full of the Holy Ghost. So, where was the first place the Holy Ghost came? Upon. Now, what has he done? He has filled him up. Watch the progression. He comes where first? Upon. What's the next stage? He fills him up. And what's the last stage there? He leads him. These are th three principal roles of the Holy Spirit in a man's life. He comes upon. He fills he leads. But you see, if he does not fill you up, you will remain full of yourself. And none of us can face life full of ourselves. You can't heal the sick full of yourself. You can't cast out devils full of yourself. You can't do miracle signs and wonders full of yourself. Hmm. Look at Stephen. You see Stephen in, in, in Acts chapter 6, verse 8. Acts 6, verse 8. And Stephen, what? Full. Full of what? Faith and power. And as a result of this two that he's full of, what do you see happen? He did great huh? wonders, miracles. 
So if you are going to do wonders, great wonders, miracles, what must you be full of? Full of yourself. Because that full of faith, in 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 13, faith is not just mental activity. It says there's a spirit of faith. 2 Corinthians 4 13. Not Chronicles. 2 Corinthians. Corinthians, not Chronicles. Uh huh. We, we have in what? The same spirit of faith. So faith is a spirit. Stop, stop trying to figure out and use your brain to believe. It won't work. You will face matters that are too big for your head. You can't figure it out. But there's a spirit within you that tells you, I am greater than what you are facing. For greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. That spirit of faith makes you look at an impossible case to the natural eyes. But that spirit in you says, it is possible. It is possible. It is possible. Glory. It's possible. It's possible. When I stand among very difficult unbelievers that look like, can this one repent? Ah. Faith rises in me because there's a spirit. In fact, my anointing works very well where there are very difficult and hard people. In fact, the moment I see people smoking ganja, because that's where God brought me from. I used to smoke Igbo. I was a rasta man, you know. I vibrated for Emperor Haile Selassie of Ethiopia. Oh, Lord. <laughs> we used to say rasta man vibration. <laughs> we vibrated for Emperor Haile Selassie of Ethiopia and called him the Lord at last and the Prince of Peace. All the glory, honor, men for Christ, we transferred it to Emperor Haile Selassie of Ethiopia. We called him the Lion of the tribe of Judah. And that's not true, that's a lie. Whenever I come in the midst of such rasters, and I see people smoking ganja, many times I don't talk much as I'm giving them my past testimony. The anointing breaks out. Because the Holy Ghost has a way of confirming the testimony of what he did before. Kamboyo. So you see some people dropping their ganja right there. With tears. Because when you are full of the Holy Ghost, 